Welcome back to Tacoma. Let's take a look around and see what else there is to see. So we've seen all this, this whole encounter except for having found the password to the administrator's office. Looked at the lavatory, looked at the kitchen, so... Let's check out the lounge. I love the distortion effects. Crushed can. Sweet. Oh, listen to the can sound effects. Beautiful. Some more HD noodles. <laughs> it's got special low gravity instructions. Open lid only enough to admit hot water nozzle. Fill with hot water, reseal lid with adhesive tab. Let stand three minutes. Remove lid only enough to admit utensil. Yeah, you would have to be careful, huh? Otherwise you'd have searing hot, brothy water just spilling all over the place. That looks like Saray was winning, by far. The river divides. Oh, that's interesting. Teak to toggle overlay text. So it's translating, I guess, a different language. Food source. Ah, playing cards and stuff. Transport web. You can pick up each individual piece. Ah, oh, it's so interactive. Oh, I can't pick up the pillows though, I guess there's nothing hidden behind them. Oh, I can't put the balls back. Whoops. How are the ball sounds? Hmm. Pretty quiet. I think they'd make a harder clack against wood. Oh, wait. Can I... Can I actually play? Oh, no, I can't. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, wait. No, I can! If you click without looking at a ball, it just throws it, but if you're looking at a ball, you can actually play. I'm trying to hang it up. Can I do that here? Huh. I wonder why there's a piece of tape on the ground. Oh, it's a dartboard, so that's where you stand. They're shooting Sergio Venturi. Probably the CEO or leader of the Venturi. Whatever technology group that owns everything. Uh, I guess they didn't like him very much, huh? Oh my god, I can even throw darts. This is amazing. I love how interactive this is. Okay. I should be standing behind the line, huh? Go for a forehead shot. Nice. Huh. Not bad. How far can I throw these from? Can I do it from like all the way down here? Oh, 
I think you gotta be like right on the line, huh? Yeah. Play a little pool. This is definitely how you play. I'm sure of it. Make nice clacky noises. I'm shooting for both the teams. Both solid and striped. And yes, I know you're supposed to hit the white ball into other balls. And take off the triangle. I wonder where the triangle goes. Doesn't seem to have anywhere to store it. Hmm. Alright, let's check out personal quarters. So this is the personal quarters of Evie St. James? Only Evie St. James? Where's the other quarters? Well, I guess since they are the station administrator, they get a special place. Captured two months ago. Ooh, that's much older. That was beautiful. Lovely playing and lovely voice. Oh, the guitar string's still broken. And this was recorded two months ago. And it's still broken? I guess supplies are limited up here, huh? So maybe they just didn't have any extra strings. Music Emporium, Tacoma, Washington. Yeah, it's weird. Everything's kind of corrupted. Even the whole playback thing at the bottom of the screen is all messed up. bags. Oh. oh, so many things to open. Okay, let's just start at the door. Oh, man. It's so hard to look at. 
Duh. It's entrancing but nauseating. Could that be the password to their office? 1228? Before I try anything else, I'm gonna go check that. 1228. Oh my god! Wow, like the first thing I looked at was the password. Alright. I think. With urgency. Alright, um, be right. Th Odin, we'll get back to this after the party, okay? Of course. Wait, did I just see the password? I thought I looked last time and I didn't see the password. Of course. Huh. Not sure what's up with that. I wonder why it specified that I can crouch down. Does it want me to find something? Like, mousy. <laughs> Wait, mousy? Is that a cat toy? Where's that cat? I know there's a cat on board. I saw cat food. So they opened up the drawer, looked at the photo. Union Gala, 2082. So that's probably their sister on the left, I'm guessing, because mentioned that some tragedy had befallen um, Evie St. James' sister. Life of an administrator. Piles of paper underneath your desk. <laughs> and a coffee pot on your desk, too. And a weird square mug, again. Oh, it, like, identifies what was playing at the time? The soothing sounds of Venturus Radio. Orbital Worker Certification Board, Bureau of Training. Certificate of Qualification. Evelyn Victoria St. James. No, so that's what the EV stands for. This work is hereby certified for orbital postings of up to 24 consecutive months. Oh, what's this? Dear Mom, I was looking through some of... Karen's? things, and I thought I'd write you. I hope you've been doing alright these days. Um, it's still really hard for me. I've been trying to find meaning it in my work up here, but I still have such trouble connecting with people. So, Karen must be their sister? Oh, it becomes, pops up and becomes a monitor of sorts. Sponsored message. <laughs> the future of hospitality in space, a network of 1,000 orbital vacation homes completely automated. Ventura spelled. Status alert. The following orbital conditions warning is in effect from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. The station's orbit will coincide with a field of increased asteroid activity and orbital debris. Okay, so it was actually during that orbital, uh, like the, the asteroid warning time, which I think is on here at the end, right? 28th? 
light asteroid activity alert. So I guess that's the day it happened, I'm assuming. From Ventures Operational Logistics, Station Administrator St. James, upon review, your request for network specialist access to the Odin unit's operational hardware has been summarily denied. We refer you to Corporate Regulations Article blah blah blah, which clearly restricts, restricts all access to AI hardware from contracting crew. As this is the third time a request of this nature has been made by Tacoma, under your supervision, your contract dossier has been marked with an additional disciplinary flag, totaling two on your account. Please remember that one more disciplinary flag will trigger an overall contractor viability review. Huh. That... Okay, I've got two... One question and one issue with this whole thing. One question is, why does St. James want access to Odin so bad? What was up with Odin? Something was going on, obviously. Secondly, can we just comment upon how fucked up this is? As this is the third time a request of this nature has been made by Tacoma under your supervision. Two flags in total on your account. This is the third time a request has been made. Okay, so it sounds like if you make one if anybody on the entire station makes one request, they only get to make one request that gets denied, I guess? One request that is denied by anybody on the crew is okay. But if anybody on the entire station requests access and is denied for a second time, then the person who runs the station gets, uh, you know, docked for it, a disciplinary flag? This company is dis very disturbing. So the person who runs the station is actually meant to keep everybody in line from making requests, but like, you should be able to make a request if you want. Why the hell would you be punished for a request? That is, I'm not sure what the word, the right word for that is, but it's bad. Very bad. There's another QR code, well a couple QR codes. Let me see if I can read this one. Nah, I still can't decode them. Nah, it's just their date of birth. Could be important if I need another password. Okay, so I'm assuming after the explosion, they probably just put the picture back and went outside. Yep. Okay, back to their living quarters. That thing is beautiful. Look at how soft and gentle that light looks. Okay, so back at the beginning. Sylvia Plath, the bell jar. Litter. God, I want a recording of this cat. More cat food. Boxes of cat litter. Bessie Smith Tribute Tour, 2086, Sacramento, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Guadalajara,
<laughs> little cat food bowl. Let's see, what do we got here? Hand lotion, sinus pain reliever, mouthwash, cinnamon toothpaste. Interesting bottle. How do you dispense it? Is it squeezable? It looks hard. Nailed it. <laughs> That's a nice brand name for nail polish. I love it. I just had to turn on all the things. Just for a little bit. Okay, let's keep doing the side of the room and then focus on the center. Let's see what's here. Who fears death? Mind of my mind. Parable of the sower? Jazz Cleopatra. And this one here is unnamed. Difficult conversations. Short stories. Becoming an amazing leader. <gasps> kitty! <laughs> oh, fluffy kitty. He's so fluffy. I want to pet that tum tum. Chapstick. Strategies for industrial community revitalization? Conflict resolution? Oh, no, no, no. What is this? Metered sprays? Dormadrine. Nasal spray. I don't know what it's actually for. Check the box. Oh, it's a sleep aid. Prescription only. Oh, that must be the sister. Karen St. James. Death is nothing at all. I have only slipped away to the next room. I am I, and you are you. Whatever we were to each other, that we still are. Why should I be out of mind because I am out of sight? I am but waiting for you, for an interval, somewhere very near, just around the corner. All is well. So to make some of these handwritten things easier to read, I think I can change this setting, this in-world overlay. By default, it's on non-native language only, which is, I think, what translated the name of that game in the lounge. But I can change it to all enabled, and I think that might... Yes. Evelyn, thank you for being home. Your presence made Karen's final months so much more bearable for all of us. Here is a program from the service and something else she wanted you to have. Mom. Loving memory. So they died December 28th, 2083. Never will your sacrifices for your community be forgotten. Hold on, can I... Just put that to the side for a sec. Oh, that's beautiful. Now 
Nice tea set. Looks like chocolates or cupcakes were in there or something. Mm. Okay, I think that's it for here. So, um... Is that it for this section? I think it might be. Is it done? No, not even close. Well, I guess we'll try down there. Um, oh, operations is over that way. Yeah, that was administration. So let's see what's going on in here. Oh god, I keep looking through windows and oh, oh, it it hurts to look at. Just the perspective, it just ugh. For security reasons, AR crew record data is deleted automatically. Accidental data retention by the automated system does not confer contractor access privileges to this confidential information. Your cooperation is appreciated. Yeah, whatever. Ah, oh, we got a whole new section, so much. Where to start? Personal quarters? I never know whether there should be personal quarters or personnel quarters. Office. Locker room, fitness center, laundry. Is this mail? Or just... I don't know what this is exactly. Just documents for individual people are stored here. Cargo. This was from four days ago, so this was a little bit further ago than the incident that happened, which was three days ago. Alright, let's give this a listen. Okay, what the hell did I say at the bottom? Something please, please? Alright, ladies. You have everything you need? Yep-o. <laughs> yep <-o. laughs> Who says that? Thanks for offering to help. Oh yeah, no problem. I mean, you know how much I love completely mindless and busy work? Kid, don't start. We don't even know if we're getting renewed yet. We're getting renewed. Okay, so if you're so sure, maybe we should just do our jobs then? We'll get renewed again next year? God, next year. Nah. I'm gonna quit. Stop. What? They don't even give me access to the system I'm supposed to be maintaining. I mean, are you kidding me? Oh, do you really need direct access to Odin? It's the principle of the thing. I mean, what if they were like, Hey Bert, your job's a mechanical engineer, but, you know, don't touch anything under the hood. Well, I'd still be pulling a paycheck for one thing. Come on, you're a good engineer. You're totally gonna waste up here. Well, didn't you say Evie was going to talk to corporate about giving you more access? Yeah, but it never went anywhere. Ah. Okay, so it sounds like Evie St. James was doing it on behalf of Natalie. Who is the network specialist. Hey. Oh, that's a good point, actually. What? Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, this will work. What are you planning, Natalie? What? what is it? Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh but my god. <laughs> Nat, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's in all our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then just quit, but don't make me your go-between. I mean, it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Clive. Then again, rules are rules. Nat, I'll think about it. But for now, how about you just get the rest of this job done while you still have it? Aye, aye, Captain. Mm. 
Alright, ladies. Yeah. So I want to follow Evie St. James as I go out and somewhere around here we got a bunch of other people all over the place. Is that Clyde? No, Andrew. Andrew's lifting weights. Took me a second to realize what they were doing with their hands up like that. I'm like, <laughs> it's an interesting um, posture, interesting pose. There's Saray or Sarah. I'm going to just say Saray. Yeah, I gotta find everybody in this whole place and see what they do for the whole record. Um, so let's see. So right now... Right now, um, the botanist. I can read their notes. Um, well, let's worry about notes later. Let's just hear what people say. Have everything you need? For offering... Thanks for offering to help. Clive, Matt, come in. Eight months? <clears throat> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space, won't you? Dutta. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival days. Cont oh, that was the person that we saw the note, the, the email from Germ, Germain, I think, talking about how they thought Clive was being taken advantage of having a relationship with Evie St. James. Sorting with the enemy? <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan. I am nothing if not discreet. Are you gonna miss me, Clive? I mean, if VT kicks one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think I'm the one who's getting shit kicked? <laughs> I mean, considering how indispensable I am, naturally. Evie, can you get back to cargo? On my way. <clears throat> May I? <laughs> so do you suppose there's good news? That'd be nice for a change. What is it? Hey, remember when we talked about how... So let's see what was going on with Clive originally. Germ, are you there? Ah, uh, hello. Oh, well, that's what we expected. Yeah, we haven't heard who's staying on yet, and you know, it can be a tense time, as you know. But how are things at Carnival? I trust you got back to Terra Firma safely. No, you're already headed back out towards Jupiter. Why, I, I thought that- Clive, may I come in? Oh yes, let's come on in, love. So are you- Okay, so that's that. Um, so we have Saray and the botanist left. I forgot the botanist's name. Andrew? Andrew. Nicholas, I know that you... Yeah, I know. Both you and your father would like me home sooner, but... Listen, you have your heart set on Amazon, don't you? Okay. And there's no way we're gonna have enough customer loyalty between your dad and I for a full ride by the time you start school. Not at this rate. So, we're just gonna have to pay some of that tuition out of pocket. Yeah, just one more year. And I'm pretty sure I'll get it. I'm hoping. What? No, it's not dangerous. What do you mean dangerous? Radiation shielding is pretty much 100% on a station like this, so there's no... Well... Yeah. Well, it might have been manufactured 30 years ago, but they've upgraded. Man, no, we're... Your stories aren't usually such we're downers. We're not going to get cancer or bone yeah, disease or... Okay? I suppose I am real. Uh, listen, would it make you feel better to hear it straight from the station doctor? Wait. Okay, you hold on. me? <clears throat> or... Hey, Sarah, can I, uh, can I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um... Sorry. What is it? I have my son, Nicholas, on AR, and he wanted to ask you... What? No, you said you wanted... Well, I didn't... Okay, I'm sorry, hold on. Now, Nicholas... Nicholas? Hello? Teens, huh? <laughs> yeah. Almost done with high school. Almost. Um... It just... Incidentally... Is there anything we should be worried about? 
And with another year out here, health-wise, radiation, bone density... Oh no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity. And radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. Yeah, see? That's what I told him. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Nothing to worry about. Okay, Odin. Where were we? Some interesting details back there, early on. Yeah, just one more time to start school. Dad and I, for a full of enough customer look. You have your heart set on Amazon, don't you? Heart set on... Studying at Amazon? Or working at Amazon after they study? Either way, well, Amazon still exists in 2088 or whatever this year is. I guess that's not too surprising, but interesting. Okay. And there's no way we're going to have enough customer loyalty between your dad and I for a full ride by the time you start school. Not a... So, it sounds like they can pay for, like, sort of pay, in quotes, for tuition with customer loyalty and the... the... Uh, parents can pool together their loyalty points to try to pay for tuition or something like that? That's interesting. This rate. So, we're just gonna have to pay some of that tuition out of pocket. Also, it sounds like Andrew's... So, Andrew's married to somebody back on Earth? So they're back on Earth and Andrew's here? Uh, with a kid, obviously, Nicholas. See what's going on with Sir Ray? Sounded like they were talking to Odin. Through this, I learned that people do not always want what they believe they want. Yeah. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record, I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with internalizing the behavioral idiosyncrasies of an individual to which my operator was emotionally attached. Huh. I expanded my capabilities to faithfully recreate her procedural reasoning, vocal attributes, and other qualities. After months of effort, I gave my operator precisely what was asked of me. A perfect emulation of the target personality, accurate in every detail. Wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. Our relationship began to deteriorate irreparably. Oh yeah, gee, I can't imagine why. Create a copy of somebody they were close with and tried to mimic them. That's creepy. We never again spoke personally in the manner I had become accustomed to. Man, your stories aren't usually such We're not downers. all gonna get cancer or... Is everything or okay? I suppose I am preoccupied with Would your you potential departure. Station, Wait, okay, you mean on. me? <clears throat> or... Hey Sarah, can I... Okay, I think that's it for the visual data, so... Let's go back and look at notes. So what are you looking at, Andrew? Offstation audio call with Nicholas. Not gonna try to pronounce the last name. Actually, I will. Dogyub? <laughs> God, that can't be right. I don't know. Nicholas Dogyub Figueroa. Offstation message with Mark Figueroa must be the person they're married to. Hey, Mark, this is the article I was talking about last time we were discussing finances. Give it a look. Sorry to be a downer. Love you. The five myths of consumer loyalty. Myth, real currency is more stable than consumer loyalty, reality. This may have been true in the earliest years of OCEP's official recognition of the loyalty economy, but da, 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 think of it like diversifying your financial portfolio. Myth, converted loyalty is just as valuable as original loyalty. Reality, while there are many companies out there, some more reputable than others, that will offer to convert your loyalty between parent companies, Something something. Think loyalty is working on the same compound interest system as a retirement plan or a 401k account. Ask your grandparents. <laughs> I guess that doesn't exist anymore. 
When you draw your loyalty from your original parent company and transfer it, you lose all those years or decades. Something, something, it's never worth it. Real currency is more stable than consumer loyalty. That is so creepy that consumer loyalty is so important. Oh. Okay, here we got... I think that's Clive. Yeah, that's Clive. Station air call with Jermaine Burgess. From Orbital Worker Union Local, blah blah blah. Remember your rights. February 29th, 2080 was scheduled to be the final day that commercial and industrial orbital facilities would be operated by human crew members. The, the historic human oversight accord, uh, something, something, putting a halt to the obsolescence of these brave workers in the face of advancing automation. It is your legal right to celebrate this momentous event on the last day of February each year, no matter what your employer claims. Report any attempts at worker suppression to your OHLU local representative. On behalf of all your fellow union workers, happy obsolescence day. So yeah, it does sound like obsolescence day is when humans are no longer needed. And the union's happy about that for safety or something? I'm not quite sure. I mean, they talk about celebrating obsolescence day, right? And happy obsolescence day. So it's obviously a thing they're happy about. They like it. Mm, God for the inspired social climber. There's no need for the workplace to be humorless as a morgue, undertakers aside. Make levity part of your workday. Shared references can... <laughs> find out what movies and TV programs are tickling funny bones around the office. Th -th -th and that's how fast friends are made. Oh my god, this is insufferable. Tickling funny bones around the office. Are you... People don't talk like that. To keep things casual and endear yourself to the higher-ups, refer to them by amusing and informal phrases instead of boss. Memorable bon mots like fearless leader skipper or head honcho. There's always that one fellow, you know the type, who seems to forget his lunch more days than not and ends up buying the meatloaf from the company cafeteria. Well, something something. Clive, this is so cheesy. So I think this thing, endure yourself to the higher-ups, refer to them by amusing and informal phrases. That must be why Clive referred to B.B. St. James. Months. Uh, Jerm, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space, won't you? Ta-ta. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival. Consorting with the end. <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan. Mon Capitan. Ah, oh, so cheesy. Okay, who else do we have? Uh, Natalie. Or, oh, no, sorry, not Natalie, Roberta. Yearly hand count inventory checklist. Alright, so just stuff for the job they're doing. Sorting thingies. Message with Clive. Yearly inventory quality assurance and count today. Roberta, already on it, trying to get it all done before the obsolescence day party tomorrow so I can party with a clear conscience. Understandable, tomorrow's celebration will require your full attention. Do you think Evie would mind if something, 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 no problem, two heads are better than one? Oh, that's, do you think Evie would mind if Natalie helped me? We connect you with licensed therapists on demand. We're here to listen when you need it most. Personalized therapy with licensed practitioners. Uh, Roberta Williams, maybe, and I'm trying to focus on the bright side with Nat. 
At least it pays well. The isolation pay something something. Feels like I'm holding her back. She's up here on this shit posting because that's all I qualified for. And she could be somewhere so much better. Okay, I have to go do this yearly task thing now. Thanks for your time. Session ended. Your Ori licensed therapist today was Penny. What's your experience with Penny? Five star. Yeah, it sounds really kind of soul crushing. I mean, Natalie. Roberta's loved one, obviously, was not too happy with the lack of control that they had over Odin and everything. Felt like they weren't even really able to quite do their job. Or at least it's the principle of a thing, as Natalie said. Feeling like you're holding your loved one back, that's... bad feeling. Alright, there's one more. Ah. That's Saray. Oh, did I... Did I continue to listen to Saray? Did Saray say anything more to Odin after Andrew came by? I didn't... Teens, huh? No, no. Okay. Richard Sturgeon's Zero Spiel? Spiel? Zero Spiel, are you sure? Says her tiny. Never sure. Around the whirling vortex spins the tiny ball, the fulcrum on which the entire mission rests. Ryan Neva Plus, <laughs> different language. No more bets, no more chances, just this one. Her tiny probability calculations fluctuate in Robertson's AR. Something, something. Turn that off, she says under her breath. Don't need it. 13. The dolly drops on 13. Player's chips are raked by the table's magnets. Robertson pushes away from the roulette table and her mag boots disengage. The countersign has been confirmed. She's floating through the orbital casino at a measured pace. The gilded scales of women's dresses float away from their bodies in microgravity, shining like precious metal Christmas trees. Earth glows blue through the casino's picture windows. Her tiny speaks in AR. I assume that means that you and the platform AI have an agreement in place? Something something, we're one step closer to the biggest score low Earth orbit has ever seen. Page 44 of 298. Message with Natalie. Yeah, with Natalie. Here's his contact info if you want it. Bye. New contact added. Cluey dog. Hassan M. Oh yeah, we saw Natalie talking with Cluey Dog before. Back at the very beginning. Right, wasn't Cluey Dog talking about, the, you know, like, privacy and, and stuff? Not being happy with the uh, information security on board the Tacoma? Message with Natalie. Well, it's a lot of... It's lots of people. Hackers, hippies, AI rights folks. Yeah, I mean, something something. Tangiers is cool. Okay, well, I've got a friend there, and you'd like him. He something something, and he has a zero G bonsai garden. Whoa, <laughs> that sounds cool. That was me saying it. Now also, Saray saying that sounds pretty cool. What's his name? Cluey Dog. I mean, okay, his real name is Hassan, but is it, uh, maybe if your contract doesn't get renewed, a visit on the way home. I'll think about it. Message with Odin. Odin, what's my damn gym locker code? <laughs> 0315. Of course, right? Sorry for bugging you about it. 0315. Well, let me go unlock that. I'm not going to look at what's in it, but I just want to unlock it before I forget about that password. 0315. Alright. Is everybody else's locked too? Oh, no. Oh. Clive's is. Mm. 
So just Clive's is still left locked. Okay. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. Now that we've just looked at everybody's kind of visual data and looked at all their documents. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to start looking at the environment 